Hey guys, welcome back to another ship review on the Nova Republic channel. Sorry for the recent lack in videos. I've been very busy working with Cinemayo and several other people all around the Kickstarter and a lot of things go around that, just getting the game ready to go onto Steam for the backers and everything like that. But as you can see here today, I have a brand new ship that I've built for the Nova Republic faction, the Hermes class cargo vessel. So as the name would suggest, it's a cargo ship. It uh, holds, I believe, let's see, uh, 20 crates total. Yeah, 10 per side. And uh, we'll go over here and check them out real quick. So I designed these crates uh, myself, you know, using a lot of bricks and things. Pretty neat. I like the way they turned out. And uh, they're all actually child entities. So the way they, that works is you can just... Uh, there's, there's child entities separate to the ship, so I can get an identity block, and I could easily just delete any any number of the crates that I want to have open slots, or and then place them back later if I wish. Very simple, very easy, and uh, pretty. I like the way I did. I like that I did that. Gives it more variety, and uh, as you can see on the other side, there's more crates. It's right there. And uh, as with most of my Nova ships, I've kept a very standard um, design aspect. So they're long and sleek with the bridge on top, slanted front, things like that. But I have upgraded several design aspects and details from previous ships, which I've since implemented into those other ships, which you'll see in the future if I ever do an updated video for my fleet. So uh, coming up here to the front, you can see there's some nice little details on the side with the painting and uh, the front. I really like the way it turned out with just the whole shape of it all, where it's kind of wide but then narrow here. And I really like the way that turned out. You got the antennas up front. And that's that. And there's some piping in here. Some other little greebles. And uh, moving down the main center, you got these little lines here because it's very like hollowish shape inside because it's not a, it's more of a skeleton frame just to hold the crates and that goes all the way back uh let's jump underneath real quick you can see there's some little some minor like ribbing here um some lights to give it a little bit of glow in the dark on like the shadow side which i can actually come over here and show you i really like doing these lights it was a uh, I got the idea when I added these blue ones here to light up the crates, and it looked really good glowing in the shadow. So I decided to do um, other lights around it just throughout, and I actually liked it a lot. And I've added these kind of lights to all my different ships. So again, you'll see those in an update video later on. So moving back, you have the bridge here. Uh, you can see inside, but we'll head in there real soon. Up top, you got your Piping, some greebles, antenna arrays. Uh, that's a teleporter block, to ignore that. And some stuff going on back here. You got some nice little scaffolding here. And uh, back here towards the side, you got um, some more details underneath. Some like little vents and stuff. And little indentions with the tech hull. So um, you see a lot of that on the Artemis class in that video. Um, I like it, so I've kept that same kind of design going. And then moving to the back, you've got three engines, two little ones and one big one, and some stuff going on down here, and ooh, left a little symmetry block there. Ignore it. All right, and you got a lot of, yeah, I like this. I like the engines. Um, all right, let's head inside through the airlock, which I have since redesigned. So uh, as you can see, there's a, a new door here with some little nice red glass in it. And, Press this and it opens much smoother. It it stays here. It doesn't clip in anymore. It's much nicer. I like this a lot better. And then on this side we have a brand new sliding door that I have. Uh, this I think I'm going to use this for the universal design. I used it in this ship and I built it into some of the other ships and I really like the way it turned out. And I think I'm going to start using this as my standard door. So as you can see, we'll slide it open. And I really like it the way. It, it's uh, got these little cutouts that like fits in. I like it a lot. So again, I'll probably be keeping that 
and using it as like a standard door. And uh, staying with the design for the rest of my ships, there are floors are still color coded. So yellow is airlock, and then on the side would be green for the mess hall, which uh, again looks similar to the other ships, but it's its own little area. It's small, it's unique, and I like the way it turned out. I got some old chairs, some tables, not much. Uh, the ship is only manned by four people, so you really only need four chairs. That's what I put, and you got you know your piping in the floor and stuff like that. Your elevator, which uh, you buttons all work, but I won't do that right now. It takes time. I'll head up to the bridge, and up on the bridge, uh, pretty pretty basic bridge. You got you know your buttons and dials and things, and your chairs. You can fly the ship, speedometer, stuff like that. You got the uh, hologram of the ship, so you can see all that that's going on, and actually put a. Uh, hologram for the crates too so you can see like the the shape of the crate um i suppose if you put something in the specific one that's linked you could even see the freight that's inside it so that's pretty neat and then let's head down to the bottom floor and you got this is the blue level on this side which is the bunks so these have also been updated as you can see with the Actually, we got some help from Seneki Sam. He's another exceptional builder in this, and uh, he gave me some tips on the beds, which I think have are definitely an improvement from before. Uh, there's some little shelves here, some stuff going on. Pretty nice, and got some lockers. I like it. And this side, it's the uh, same thing. So you got the beds and the lockers and shelves and stuff. So we got that. And then going on to this side, we have engineering. So we'll open this. We got another one of those sliding doors. And uh, so here's the core room, which has also been upgraded. So uh, it's similar to the previous ones that you've seen, where it's got like the blue on the back and it's this nice little like engine area. But I've added this core rod, which spins and it looks really cool because it's like animated because it's spinning and stuff. And you got some some piping going on, some hoses and stuff and I've upgraded some of the pipe detailing here. You can see from previous designs. And you got stuff like that. And this is like linked, and that's how you turn it on, but it's, it's already on, so. Uh, some more piping here, and like little engines on the sides. And there's the same thing on this side. So, yeah, I like this. I really like this. It gives it the, it makes it feel more alive, like something's actually going on, which I really like. And uh, here we'll actually, we'll ride the elevator up to the yellow level. And uh, another thing I've done actually, now that we're at the elevator, is since some floors share multiple colors, what I did was I put the buttons on top of these little lights. So you could see multiple segments of the ship that are on the same level. So like yellow level here also has the mess hall for green so like that and then like down below was the bunks but it also had engineering and so forth and i'm going to be using some stuff like that in the other ships and in future ships because it's just much more easy access user friendly to be anyone trying to navigate through the ship so all right let's head back outside we'll take one more quick overview of the ship and then that will conclude this review so we'll head out now and yeah, so this is the Hermes class cargo ship. Uh, thank you guys for watching and have a great day.